the game where nerves could have played a factor. Down 12 to UConn, a team with all the pedigree, but no, the Hawkeyes stayed true. I don't. I didn't feel nerves. Um, I don't think our team really felt nerves. I thought, you know, like I said, we stayed really level-headed. We stayed poised because uh, we've been in tough situations before, and we know that we can, you know, we can score in a hurry when we need to. And so, um, but mainly we got stops, and that really helped us. And we, you know, we let made our defense turn into our offense, and so that's really what brought us back into it. I think our shots weren't really falling in the first half, which. Um, Cause our offense to struggle a bit you know I think we should have drove a lot more than keep shooting but you know shoot or shoot and we told each other like keep shooting that we have all the confidence in each other and you know don't don't back down keep shooting in sweet elation on to the championship game you know to do it with this group of girls to get back to the national championship we're just so proud and you know we we want to keep playing with this group this group's special and we're glad to do it again. Say so I haven't gotten the chance to kind of like soak it in and soak in how like that's not an easy thing. Like that's not like reality for a lot of people um, and how hard it's like taken us to get here and just what we've experienced all season long at, with each other and the ups and downs of the season and now it's here. Um, we're one of two teams playing still. Um, I mean that's crazy. Uh, but it, you know it kind of makes all the work and all the ups and the downs of the season worth it. In the win Caitlin Clark, 21 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. It was not her best offensive game scoring-wise, but nearly a triple-double. And, you know, <laughs> Iowa averaging 92 points a game. They only had 71, mm -hmm. but this was a complete effort. It was a nail-biter for sure. Hannah Stulke, like we said, came out big, a game-high 23 points. But she was shut down in the first half. Honestly, all of Iowa's offense was shut down. But they came together with defensive stops. It was a complete effort. Three players scored in double figures, and UConn, Held to 60, under 70 points. points. Yeah, Paige Becker's held to only 17. Gabby Marshall, a fantastic job on her all night long. Yeah, you know, Caitlin Clark's not going to hit 41. <laughs> and the fact that they were able to win, it's, it bodes well for them. And looking ahead to South Carolina, though, we got a championship coming up Sunday mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Safe to say with what South Carolina did, uh, blowing out NC State in the first game of the night, Iowa, I don't think, can win a championship with kind of a B effort type game. We're going to have to see heroic Caitlin mm -hmm. limit those turnovers because there were a lot of turnovers uh, here on Friday night they by had Iowa. 12 in the first half alone or something like that. That just cannot happen against South Carolina because they score the Gamecocks on almost every single possession. And they have that mass of Camilla Cordoso who can really do anything. Honestly, better than Aaliyah Boston from last season, in my opinion. She's been their workhorse. And, South Carolina. I mean, they are <laughs> rolling right now. They got the length. They got the height. They got everything going for them. It's going to be up to Iowa, who is going to come in as the underdogs to upset them and knock down those shots. Yeah, they've got everything going for them, but they don't have Caitlin Clark, and they don't have the yeah. spirit of this Hawkeye team with the school record for wins. I would beat them last year when, I, when South Carolina was yeah. undefeated in the semis. They can do it again.